Well, many residents in Butte watched Travis Pastrana recreate some of Evil Knievel's famous motorcycle jumps Sunday. MTN's John Amy talks with a Butte resident who watched Robbie Knievel make the famed Caesars Palace leap 30 years ago. With that happy landing, Travis Pastrana paid tribute to the Butte-born Evil Knievel by successfully clearing the fountain at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, breaking Knievel's record in the process. Fifty years ago, Knievel broke himself on a hard landing after clearing the famous fountain. Butte resident Tim Dick was there in 1989 when Knievel's son Robbie became the first person to successfully leap the fountain. From where we were watching, it, it didn't look like he was going to make it until, you know, halfway through the jump, it didn't look like he was going to reach the landing ramp, but he did. Yeah. It was pretty exciting. On Sunday, Pastrana successfully recreated two other Knievel jumps before the fountain jump. Tim Dick said they were great feats but doubt anyone will attempt the fountain jump again. I say the difference in equipment from when Evil did it, even to when Robbie did it, and that even now to when this guy did it, um, you know, I think these things get more advanced all the time, and, and equipment-wise, it's a lot easier to jump. He added Sunday's event was an example of Evil Knievel's influence on the world of extreme sports. It's a sport now. It was death-defying stunts then, and, and uh, you know, this sport was basically created off what he did. On the shoulder of a legend, in Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Pastrana has been to Butte before during the Evil Knievel Days Festival. This year, however, the festival dedicated to the Butte Daredevil was canceled due to lack of funding. 